So what on earth should you do if your bull mastiff puppy decides that it's a good idea to eat its own poop? Welcome back to the Femrear Bull Mastiff Show. If you are new here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FemreaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you could possibly want to know about the incredible Bull Mastiff and then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Bull Mastiff companions. So if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Now let's dive into this week's Q&A around the Bull Mastiff. So I had a really interesting email when I was going through my emails trying to help as many people as I can and the question was that my 12 week old puppy my bull mastiff we've noticed every time it goes number two is then as quickly as possible trying to eat that number two and obviously it's really disturbing it's gross we don't know what to do what should we do about it how do we go about stopping that from happening now of course that's a, a very kind of dramatic and whoa that's weird why would they do that and where do you even start and being able to fix such a weird problem like that and that's exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video so this is actually a much more common problem than most kind of normal dog owners believe and it's actually got a fancy term called coprophagia but obviously people aren't going to use a term like that it's eating their own fecal matter eating their own poop whatever you want to call it it's gross but let's move on but it is actually a very common behavior that people rightly so get freaked out when their dogs display it if you've never known a dog do it before i completely understand why it can be so shocking now again hopefully Hopefully I've given you a little bit of reassurance that it is quite a normal thing to happen or at least quite a common thing sorry it's not a normal thing it's a common thing but it is something that we need to address and that there's multiple issues now first, first and foremost you have to see a vet to ensure that there's not a medical issue there at the root cause of why the puppy's doing it now I kind of, through my own research and experience, I'm aware of some of the kind of medical reasons that can cause dogs and puppies to want to eat their own poop. But I'm not a vet and I'm not gonna kind of pretend that I know the ins and outs on YouTube. I'm a canine behaviorist. I focus on behavior and training and kind of puppy development and psychological stages not the vet thing sometimes there's crossover and this is one of those cases where there is crossover but i do suggest highly that you go and see a vet first and foremost and make sure that you strike off that there's not any underlying health issues that might be causing that problem now once you've done that and you've made sure that that's not the case i would then also talk to your vet about the food that the dog's on one of the most common reasons that a dog will do this is because they're not getting the adequate amount of nutrition that they need and it is very common for dogs to then try and seek that nutrition that they're missing out on whether it's vitamins minerals probiotics any of those things from external sources which can often be why not only will they eat their own poop but other animals poops other dogs poop it's a very common thing and that is quite often at the root cause of it so again um, i'm personally a big believer in the raw food diet for dogs it's what i feed my dogs we do have a course uh, our raw food masterclass that helps people transition over to that but again we don't claim that we are vets or kind of uh, canine nutritional experts from the research we've done and my vast amount of experience i do believe personally that it's the best thing that you can do for your dog but that might be worth spending speaking to your vet about it might be worth reaching out to a, a kind of a registered canine nutritionist to say look we're having this problem with my bull mastiff puppy or any puppy for that matter this one just so happens to be about a bull mastiff um we the vet says it's nothing that they can find health wise we think it might be something to do with the food is there something you could recommend that we try a supplement or moving them to a different diet and again you might very quickly find that that is a common um, way to solve this problem now moving on to another reason that is something that unfortunately i do have to deal with quite a lot and if this is the reason it can be quite difficult to unpick this kind of behavior because it then falls into more kind of a psychological response to a negative traumatic experience which as you can imagine even with humans that you can communicate verbally with and really get to underpin those kind of traumatic experiences when we try and do those kind of same kind of approach for behavior rehabilitation or modification with dogs 
it's the next level difficult to be able to overcome it. And that is when dogs have been overly punished for having accidents in the home. This is um, why I try and tell everybody that if, if your dog has an accident, number one or number two in the home, don't punish it, don't rub its nose in it, don't hit it, don't smack it, don't throw things at it. It was your fault. It means that you weren't proactive enough, it means that you weren't preemptive enough, and that you didn't take your dog out to where it should go to the toilet in time. It was your fault. So you have a responsibility to calmly, quickly and efficiently clean that mess up as quickly as possible. And then, be able to learn from that mistake and make sure that you don't make that mistake again and you take them out quicker next time. And when they do go outside, we praise and we positively reinforce that approach. Now, if your dog is eating that it's fecal matter because it's fearful of the response that you're going to have if it sees that mistake, that is something that I can't help you with through a video. That needs an in-person canine behaviorist because it requires a very bespoke case by case solution to be able to unpick that, unravel it, and then rehabilitate and remodify that behavior. If that is the case, and that is what's happened here, then like I say, you're gonna to have to reach out to a local in-person canine behaviorist to come and help you with that specific problem. Now, that's kind of three different issues. And the fourth one, which for me kind of fits in, well, there's no health issue, we're confident we're feeding the best diet possible. We've never caused any kind of traumatic or fearful experience around uh, toilet accidents in the home. So we know it's not that. So then what is it? And then that kind of fits into the fourth category of this um, issue that many people do face. And for me, that is often in the realms of they could just enjoy it. As, as gross as that sounds to us. And it could be that we will never know the underlying cause to get to be able to offer an actual solution. And at that stage, we're gonna to need to then manage the behavior. And to manage that behavior, it then means going back to basics with toilet training, ensure that we are there to take them outside. And when they go to the toilet, we might need to keep them on a long line. We might need to make sure that we stay close, that we interject before they get there maybe we could utilize recall as a drill so when they've been for a number two we recall them away we positively praise them for coming away from it coming to us completing that recall we then remove them and we quickly and efficiently pick it up put it in a bag and chuck it in the bin Again, hopefully over time with that approach and that consistency, you can get the dog to forget about that irrational response to wanting to do that weird behavior. Um, and that can be enough to stop it. Or it might then be something that you just have to deal with moving forward with your dog because it's an irrational, weird uh, behavior that we're not ever going to be able to unpick and if that's the case then again you just need to be proactive preemptive put things in place to ensure that you don't let the dog do it because ultimately it's not healthy it's not good for them and it is pretty gross so they're the kind of four main types of category that I have dealt with in this issue if you're facing this issue rest assured you're not alone like i say it is quite common um, but it isn't normal so we want to try and address it and i recommend you following that go through vets then check it's um diet's okay if you've caused that problem through causing traumatic experiences around the making a mistake you need to reach out to a behaviorist and then if it's none of those things, we want to then try and put a management strategy in place like we've just discussed. So I hope that helped. If you've got any other Bullmaster questions whatsoever, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy. I really enjoy making these videos and helping people as much as possible. If you are new here, subscribe. We've got two Bullmaster specific videos coming to this channel every single week. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Femrear Bullmaster Show.